Lesson 9 Internet Services Part 2 This session includes explanation and then exercise at the end of the explanation. Let's begin our discussion with search engine. So a search engine is a web-based tool means a software that runs on web browser that helps user to locate information based on the keywords. The keywords are the words or phrases that we type into the search engine such as Google to find what we are looking for on the world wide web. Although there are many search engines available still there are some common use search engines such as Google, Yahoo, Bing and Ask. Email is an electronic mailing system that helps to instantly exchange digital messages with the internet across the globe. We can send and receive emails over computers, smartphones and other electronic devices. The full form of email is electronic mail. Internet is required if you wish to send and receive emails. Let's talk about the advantages of email. First, it helps in instant exchange of information. Second, it's useful in business as we can store our email for future reference. And third, we can send and receive emails across the world in just a few seconds. A web browser is a software application used by people to view web pages on the internet. Some of the common web browsers used are Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. Let's talk about netiquettes. The term netiquette refers to internet etiquette. In the word netiquette, net comes from the word internet and etiquette simply means good manners. So netiquette in simple words would mean the good manners to be adopted while communicating online through email, social media, etc. When we follow netiquette, the one thing that becomes clear is online communication. Some of the important netiquette to be followed are Be polite when you communicate online. Check the spelling, grammar and punctuation when sending emails to others for better understanding of what is written. Third, use appropriate emoticons to explain the emotions such as the ones that you see. Fourth, avoid using uppercase letters in your emails as it indicates shouting at the concerned person. Fifth, do not flood others' inbox with forwarded messages and mails. Now here's a piece of advice. Follow netiquette properly to maintain positive online relationships and establish positive online reputation. Now the most important question. How do we stay safe online? So to stay safe online, follow 
the following points. 1. Avoid sharing personal information like your address, contact number and location of your school without your parents' permission. 2. Avoid sharing your passwords either to a chat group or anybody without seeking your parents' permission. 3. Always choose strong password. A strong password is created using the letters of alphabets, numerals and special characters. 4. Inform your parents when you come across any discomfort, threat or harassment when you are surfing the internet. Fifth, avoid sharing personal profile and pictures on the internet without the knowledge of your parents. Sixth, avoid responding to unwanted messages when they disturb you and keep your parents informed about them. Seventh, Always be open and frank with your parents and communicate with them. Follow their advice and instructions before going online. Now here's a piece of advice. You should always be responsible netizen and cultivate the habit of creating awareness on the importance of being responsible netizens to others.